All right, today we're going to be talking a little bit about amp baits. One's a sugar bait, these are sugar baits, or we call them carbohydrate baits. These are protein baits, and they're protein. And we do both for a reason. Sometimes the ants will feed on uh, carbohydrates, sometimes they feed on protein. And a lot of times it depends on the type of the, we the, the time of the year. In springtime, we generally go with the proteins. Summertime, we go to the sugar baits. Now, ants are unpredictable, so they could flip flop. That's why our ant bait kits actually have both of them. And uh, this is a granular bait, this is kind of a gel bait, same thing with this. And we also have Rockwell Labs puts out a nice little bait plate. And it's got, see if you can see that, it's got a divider in the middle and you can put protein baits, the granulars on one side and the gel bait on the other side, close it up. Make sure you keep this out of reach of pets and children. And some species of ants, particularly in Florida, will not eat either one of them. And sometimes, um, depending on the situation, if there's a lot of food available for the ants, they won't eat either one of them either. So uh, in that case, we do have Fipanil products. This is a Taurus. We have Navigator. We got Termidor. We got Fuse. These are all really good for exterior treatment on there. Fact is, in, in the warm months, it's my go-to product. It's a little bit simpler than putting the baits. Baits are an ongoing uh, uh, situation for several weeks. So you have to replenish them quite a bit, put fresh baits. Uh, but that's, that's the bottom line on ant baits. Uh, it's pretty simple. Get both of them. Uh, we have the kits. They're discounted that way. And thanks so much for tuning in.